In this video, I'm gonna be replacing this stock chrome front bumper with a heavy duty classic front bumper from movebumpers.com. Now this is a kit, so that means there's gonna be some assembly required. That means that I'm gonna to have to do some welding, but for me, that's the fun part of a project like this. Now, if you wanna try this yourself, don't worry because Move also makes some bolt together kits that don't require any welding at all. And also remember, if you wanna pick one of these bumper kits up for yourself and you wanna save $50, Use the discount code making stuff at checkout. Move makes bumpers both front and rear for all types of foreign and domestic trucks and SUVs. The kit that I'm going to be assembling today is the classic front bumper with the off road upgrade. That means that the front, center section, and brackets have been upgraded to quarter inch steel, and everything else is 3 16 of an inch steel. The parts are all heavy duty and very well made. All of the cuts and bends are clean, and when I lay them out on the ground and line them all up, they all seem to meet up quite well. It seems that Move Bumpers has gone out of their way to make a quality kit that is also easy to assemble. The kit also comes with very good instructions with lots of detailed pictures to help make the assembly go as smooth as possible. The one thing I took notice of right away on the first page it states in bold letters on a bright orange piece of paper that the bumper is not to be assembled apart from the vehicle. That means that the truck itself will be used as the jig for this project. And that makes sense to me because I wanna make sure that all of the lines from the grill, the headlights and the fenders all line up with the bumper. And that's impossible to do unless the bumper is on the truck. Move Bumpers recommends tack welding the bumper together on the truck and when finished assembling, it can be removed from the vehicle for final welding. That's how I'm gonna be assembling this kit. It's also a good idea to have a buddy help you assemble this kit because the pieces are heavy and awkward shaped and it'd be rather difficult to hold everything in place and tack weld it at the same time. I've got a buddy coming over right now to help me out, so I need to clear some of this stuff out of the shop and make room for my truck so that I can work on it. Before I start welding, I am going to grind bevels on the edges of all the welded parts. This will help strengthen the bumper, especially since I plan on grinding all the welds on the outside faces so that it has a smooth appearance. All right, so I've got the bumper all fully tack welded here on the truck, and I'm really happy with the way everything turned out. 
it was really easy to get this tack welded together, especially having a helper hold all the pieces in place while I did the tack welding. And I'm really happy with the lines, like right here under the headlights. If you notice right here under the grill, it is a little bit close to the grill, but I've got the bumper mounted all the way up uh, and it's touching the grill and this can easily be fixed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bumper off of the truck, put it over here on the welding table and do all the final welding. And then when I get all of that done and we put the bumper back on the truck, I can adjust this gap right here. With the bumper all tacked into place, it is now time to remove it from the truck and place it on my welding table. I used a couple of clamps to hold it in place so it doesn't move around while I'm working on it. The next step is to mount the light pods on the back side of the bumper using these brackets. And to hold these brackets into place while I tack it up, I'm just going to use a couple of welding magnets. And the welding magnets also come in handy when tacking the bracket into place that actually holds the light pods. And I'm going to make sure that this face here is parallel with this face. That will ensure that the lights are facing forward of the vehicle. And once I got those brackets tacked into place, I mounted one of the lights and walked around to the front of the bumper to make sure that the light pod was pointed in the correct direction. The last piece to tack into place before doing the final weld is the light bar bracket, and it consists of this long rectangular piece and these little clips that mount to the light bar. And again, I'm just using some welding magnets to hold everything into place while I tack it up. The light pod mounting brackets and the light bar mounting brackets are now tack welded into place. The only thing left to install are these tow hooks, but I'm gonna save these for last because if I mounted them now, it would make maneuvering the bumper on the weld table a little bit difficult during the final weld. So now it's time to do the final weld on this bumper and start welding in all of these seams. And as I do the final weld, I'm gonna move around from side to side on this bumper because I don't wanna to put too much heat into one place and maybe cause this thing to warp. All right, so it's the next day and I have got the bumper fully welded. I stayed up last night and got all of the welds done. I welded the outside of the bumper as well as the inside of the bumper. And I even welded some of the relief cuts that Move Bumper made on the pieces that they put on the brake when they bent them because I want this bumper to be as strong as it can be. So now the only thing left to do is grind these welds down. And when I'm done grinding out all the welds and making them look nice and smooth, I'm going to go over the entire bumper with a 120 grit sanding disc to remove all of the mill scale. And once I get all of the mill scale removed, I'm going to go over the entire bumper with a wire brush wheel.
Now that the bumper's all cleaned up, the only thing left to do is weld on those tow hooks. All right, so I am done welding and grinding on this bumper. And as you can see, all of the lines and corners and everything, they look really, really nice. I am very happy with the results so far. This is a fine looking bumper. And as you can see, I have also got the tow hooks welded on here and I'm very happy with the results of this. This looks really, really nice. I've got the bumper all set up in the shop. I've got it setting on a couple of saw horses. So that means it's ready to start spraying it and I have decided that I'm going to use the Raptor bed liner on this bumper. So before I spray the bed liner on the bumper, it's gonna need some type of a primer because that bed liner does not stick to bare metal very well. So this is recommended for all of the Raptor protective coatings and it is the Raptor anti-corrosive epoxy primer and I'm going to put this on the bumper first. But before I put this on the bumper, I'm going to wipe the whole thing down with some acetone just to make sure it is as clean as it can possibly be because the key to a great paint job is the prep work. And I'm going to put some prep work into this because I want this bumper looking really, really nice. So I got the bumper sprayed with that Raptor bed liner and then I put the bumper back onto the truck and man does it look good. I really like the way that this turned out. And it also wouldn't hurt to trim this little piece of wheel well right here that's hanging down a little bit. This looks much, much better. So the lights that I'm using on my bumper came from a company called North. You can find them online at northlights.com. I'll put a link to them down in the description of the video. And the reason that I'm using these lights is because North is a sister company of Move Bumpers. So these lights will perfectly fit in this bumper. So it takes all the guesswork out of trying to find the right light for the bumper. And you can save 20% off of your order at North Lights by using the discount code making stuff. The particular bumper that I have installed has room for four light pods. So I ordered two spots and two floods and it also has room for a 32 inch light bar. Another nice feature about these North light kits is that they come with the wiring harness and this is pretty much plug and play. It has the weatherproof connector on the end. It has a relay, it has the switch, it even has a fuse. All you have to do is hook this up to 12 volts DC and run the switch up into the cab of the truck and you're done. I installed all three switches for my lights right here on this panel above the parking brake release. So now that the lights are installed on the bumper, this project is done. This has been a very fun and exciting project to build and I can't be happier with how awesome this bumper looks on my truck. So if you're thinking about picking up one of these bumper kits for yourself, remember you can save $50 off any bumper kit at Move Bumpers by using the discount code making stuff. And you can also save 20% off at North Lights by again using the discount code making stuff. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit that like button and give me that big thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.